So, psychology and boundary setting. Because, you know, that whole psychology of parent, child, adult, adult, which is that the triangle that's quite famous in psycho psychological terms now, where if you behave like the parent, you're almost placing someone in child position. If they behave like a child, they're trying to place you into parent. Or you're saying, excuse me, could we please move to adult to adult? Well, what do you think housing somebody is? It's, it's largely parent, isn't it? And therefore, a significant proportion of your tenants will go, I'm child. So it was fascinating. I was talking with some people the other... I talked with two sets of people that were looking for rooms, nothing to do with me, and they were absolutely in child mode looking. And, and I, I, my best friend phoned halfway through the conversation and he went, oh, you've turned into a middle-aged person, haven't you? You know, I bet you're telling them that if they drank less coffee and saved more money, they could buy houses. And I was like, I've just uttered those words, yes. <laughs> because I was in peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, adult to adult, to say, guys, and I was saying, you know, all my tenants have got better computers than me and nicer cars and da-da-da-da-da. So... In child mode, and, and not all tenants do this, but a proportion of your tenants will say, well, you're the parent, you're housing me, I'm the child. And therefore, what comes with being a child? Not picking up your socks, not having clean rooms, throwing a tantrum when the boundaries are set that you don't like. And, and so if you can phrase, uh, frame tenant behaviour, if you haven't had enough volume of tenant behaviour yet to go, oh, look, that's quite funny. Like um, the other day, Ildi went, oh, so-and-so at Willis Road is an alcoholic. Um, they got drunk and they put a knife in the wall. Now, how would you respond if that was your very first property? Would you be a bit freaked? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just went, oh, that's mental. Get them out. That's all I did. Because, you know, I haven't had a knife in a wall before, but I've had lots of other things. And I don't want an alcoholic in, in my property because a shared house that's going to be very difficult for everyone else to live with. So that we, we just need to say, no, that's, you know, I wouldn't say it was funny because actually it's terribly sad for everybody involved. But I just went, oh, that's mad. No, out straight away.